Hello there, I'm Mark. How are you today? Has he any idea on how to use the verb have? Has they got a pen and a notebook? Do you have a car? I've never been to Japan. Josh has to work hard to become a manager. She had her car washed. Let me remind you that I've already talked about the verb have in various occasions. If you wish to watch all those lessons, you may click there. The verb have can be a main verb, an auxiliary verb, and a modal auxiliary. Let's take a look at all the ways that we can use the verb have then. My first introductory example was, has he any idea on how to use the verb have? The first thing that we see here is that have is in the third person singular, has. Then we notice that have or has in this case is acting as a full verb, much like be. And then have in this case means possession. We only use this form in formal contests. Let's take a look at my second example. Have they got a pen and a notebook? In this case, we have have got. Have got is used informally in British English and it means possession. In this case, have is an auxiliary verb. And if you had to answer this question, you would answer yes, they have or no, they haven't. Pay close attention to the third person singular, he, she or it. So yes, he has, no, he hasn't. The third example is the most used. So, do you have a car in this case? Does he have a car? Or did he have a car when he was younger? So, notice the auxiliary verb can change, but the main verb have stays the same in a question. But I could say, I had a car when I was uh, 17 years old, for example, in the past. In this case, have is the main verb. Don't forget, it's the same as saying, have you got a car? Or, have you a car? But this form is the most used nowadays. The fourth example, I've never been to Japan. In this case, the verb have is an auxiliary verb. For what tense? For the present perfect in this case, but we can also use it for the past perfect. Auxiliary verb have. I've never been to Japan. If you want to watch a lesson on the present perfect or the past perfect, you can click here. My fifth example was, John has to work hard to become a manager. In this case, have or has to is a modal auxiliary. And it means one or something needs to do something. Be careful though, do not confuse it with must. If you wish to watch a lesson on have to and must, you may click there. We could also use have to or has to to mean it is likely something is. For example, money has to be the reason for his behavior. I could also say money has got to be the reason for his behavior. Let me erase this and I'll be back with two other uses. So we're back with my next example. He had his car washed. Have or has something done is acting as causative. What does it mean? Well, I ask somebody to do something for me. So I could have said, I asked somebody to wash my car, for example. Or um, even if you want to use it in, with the present continuous, he uh, is having his car washed. So right now, somebody is washing his car. If you like the lesson, please share it. Remember, we have a community section in my channel. Please use it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And uh, having said that, see you next week with a new English lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.